After you're finished with a good hard workout, it's really a good idea to try to relax and stretch your spine because you're working in articulation with such um, energy and um, concentration that sometimes the muscles in the back can get a little tight. So it's not a bad idea to massage those muscles out. Now what did Joe Pilates say was his massage? rolling on the spine, right? So we're gonna add four of the rolling exercises together as a great ending for an advanced workout. And Jordan will do this for us. I'm gonna kind of step back and give her space to show what she can do. So we're gonna start this with rolling like a ball. We're gonna go into open leg rocker. After open leg rocker, we'll go transition right into boomerang, and then we'll transition into seal. The transitions are important to keep this flow going, so there's never a stop. You're constantly rolling, and by the time you're done, your spine feels wonderful. All right, let's push your feet up and try to balance here. Now remember, you have to lock that powerhouse in. Remember that curve in the spine. When you do rolling like a ball, there's an actual lift in the tummy. Here we go, roll back and come up. That's it, and roll back and up. Tummy in, and don't forget to breathe. Stay there, stretch your legs out in the V, arms are straight. Pull your tummy in, drop your head, and roll back, and come up with control. And roll back, and come up. You can open your legs a little wider, yes. And roll back, and come up. Stay right there for me, cross one leg over the other, reach your arms around to the back. Good, lower the legs down and up and over and stretch. Good, boomerang and roll back. It doesn't stop, see how it flows? We love that. And your whole workout should be like that actually. One exercise follows the other. And the exercises are designed for you to be able to do that, especially in the mat work. And up and over, good. Now stay there, sit up, bend your knees and scoot yourself forward, open the legs and beat, one, two, three, roll back, one, two, three, and up, one, two, three. Now if Jordan stretched her legs a little bit back like this, she'd have a better roll. One, two, three, and back, aha, and up. Isn't that nice? Feels good. Now we're gonna stand up, and up you go. Ta-da! Good, arms down by your side, neck is long, shoulders are down, Pilates stance. Good, squeeze your heels in the Pilates stance. Pull your tummy and make your back go towards my hand. Lift up, good, weight a little bit more forward. Yes, that's it. This isn't a bad thing to do for your beginning client as well because she's standing in Pilates stance and it's just like when we're doing the first position on the reformer for footwork. So you can tell her to squeeze her heels together so she feels that connection and then take her right to the reformer and ask her to feel the same connections.